Okay, I'm getting ready to change the gear lube and the first thing I want to do is make sure I don't have any gaskets stuck in here and I've got one here. That one's gone and this one's still here. Never want to double gasket it, so make sure you get these drain gaskets out of the way. I've got new ones on all three of my plugs, so I'm ready to fill it up. Okay, I pressure tested it, it was fine. We're ready now to fill it back up with gear lube. And we're just gonna fill it up till it comes out the fill hole. We're gonna put the vent plug and the fill plug back in and then pull it back out. It's full. So it's coming out that fill plug. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna wait until that is level of that fill plug, just another moment or two. It came out the vent too. All right, I'm gonna put the fill plug in first. Some uh, drives like Alphas and a lot of older outboards just have a vent plug and a fill plug from the bottom or drain and vent. And the vent plug is next. Hold a vacuum and we pull the drain plug out. And finally, our drain plug. A little bit will come out. It's not a, not a big deal. Just as soon as you take it out, put the drain plug in and thread it in with your fingers, a couple of threads. There we go. Tighten that plug up. We're done. That's it. All right, we're ready to put it on. Okay, I'm getting ready to uh, put the lower unit on, and what I want to do is I want to hook my starter button up. Fair warning, this is a fuel-injected engine, so don't go and start probing around here with any type of a starter button where you might put power to something because you might have a grounded driver inside the ECM that actually grounds the circuit. You need to see if you can find a circuit that lights up when you turn the key to crank. So what I did was I found the yellow and red wire, common color code for uh, energizing the starter solenoid. So that means that power should come from the key switch in the crank position and it should light up my test light when my test lights put the ground. So let's see if that's correct. Okay, key on. Yes, so my test light does light up. So I can hook up my starter button safely now. So I'm going to hook up my starter button to the other end of the wire. This is the wire that is lit up when I turn the key on, so that comes from the key switch. This is going to go into the harness, but I know that I'm safe when I hook up my test light because I'm going to do the same thing that the key switch does to this circuit. So I've got my starter button hooked up properly. It's gonna crank over, so when I slip the lower unit up, if the splines don't line right up, I can just bump the engine over. So we'll put the lower unit on next. Okay, I got the lower unit ready to go on. I've got my water pump slinger. I forgot to mention that earlier. That's critical. I wanna put that on. There's a little tool that comes with it that puts it at the right pressure. That keeps all the sand and debris out. It's probably what saved the last lower unit, even though it had deteriorated. I've uh, greased my splines here from my shifter, and I've greased my upper drive shaft spline, so I'm ready to put it on. What a nice day. Beautiful out here can't think of anything else I'd rather be doing. Well, maybe something else. So they're all lubricated. And then, so I got my starter button hanging back here off the back of the engine. Once I get the lower unit in, I can bump it over real easy. And here we go. Should go really. Okay, 
way about right now is where I think that spline's gonna get lined up. And there it goes, all set. Lined right up nice, nice. Now, the only other thing I think is the shifter, maybe. The last thing I may have to make sure I line up here. I can put the nut on here to hold it in place for a minute. Binds up just a little bit with that shifter, and I had to wiggle the shifter a little bit to get it to line up. There we go. Okay, all I gotta do is tighten up the bolts now and um, fire it up. Put the prop on. We're going to grease the prop shaft, put it back on, torque that prop, um, and then we'll fire it up. All right. The moment we've been waiting for. I just finally finished putting this thing on. I got everything hooked up. Water pump, new drop, new cables, new controls, new wiring. Find out. Mm-hmm. 